Hi again, everybody. Jim Stevens coming to you from the Inside Foods TV studios here in Durango, Colorado. And remember to subscribe to Inside Foods TV and click those notifications so you get notified every single time we create and place some new content on the channel. It's April 2nd, 2020. Most of us are still under a stay-at-home order. That's the bad news. The good news is we've got some new content for you here at Inside Foods TV, this time created by none other than Mr. Clay Toomey. Many of you know Clay from his years of work as a statistician at Inside Foods. He's covered some of the biggest matches in the sport in recent years. But Clay also a very high-quality content creator, and he's got a good one for you here today. It's Tony Spredeman's top five quick strike pull kicks. You know where Tony passes it and immediately launches that legendary pull kick. He's got the top five of them for you from the complete collection, which Clay knows better than anyone. So enjoy Clay Toomey's top five Tony Spredeman quick strike pull kicks here at Inside Foods TV. Another outstanding performance from the young man out of Cudahy, Wisconsin. Of course, the veteran Juan Mares, Brandon Moreland, still very much alive. Yes, he is. I was just about to say Mares is uh, definitely not out, but it looks like Tony is actually starting to get to that point where maybe things are going to get a little out of hand right now. Quick pass attempt by Mars. Comes back along that wall once again. Can't hold on to it. Grabbed by Spraydeman. Quickly converts the pass and goes right into that pull kick. What a play by Spraydeman. But apparently this is a formula that's working for Todd because he's played Tony four games today. There's the quick pass, the quick pull kick. Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Clay Toomey, and this is the most exciting play in table soccer. Pass gets through it and the hammering pull kick gets two games apiece. Oh, that quick bounce pass and then the pull kick. It's one game to nothing. And you heard Scotty Weidman even looking on in amazement at that one. Now, there are some really talented people who can do some very cool things on a foosball table. And in the future, we're going to showcase those players. We're going to showcase their skills. If there's anything in particular you would like to see, feel free to leave a comment down below and let us know. A player, a shot, whatever, you tell us what you want to see. For this video, we're going to talk about Tony Spredeman and a play that he has made famous over the years where he passes it and shoots it in literally less than half of a second. Now, we have narrowed it down to a top five, but frankly, I just didn't want to leave this one out, so consider it a bonus, an honorable mention, whatever. This is 17-year-old Tony Spredeman playing in the World Championships against Frederic Collignon. He passes it through, hammers that pull kick. That same play he used at the Nationals. Beautiful play by Colin. Rather by Sprademan, it's 3-1. And Frederico's a little upset with himself because he'd been looking for it the whole time because he remembers when he got burned on it before. And Todd able to convert from that near side. That is a shot that he executes as well as anyone. Looking at that angle hole, he gives it that quick push, the slight angle. He is very effective with that particular effort. He's up 3-2. And Tony can't connect on the pass. Todd now stepping into the forward position. Pass attempt blocked away. Nice save by Lafredo, who gets the left hand back there to keep it out. However, Sprademan able to intercept it, set it up. Try to go back to that far side. Lafredo keeps him out. Quickly through the lane and then into the pole kick. It's 3-3. That is such a dynamic play. And he did that one about as quick as you're ever going to see. Mose able to angle it up nicely, brushing it through that lane. A chance for a two-goal lead right here for Steve Mose from front pin position. Steve Mose, the number 12 seed here this weekend out of Savage, Minnesota. Tried to come to the near side, knocked down by Sprademan. You mentioned that Tony does not play a lot of goalie. Perhaps that would be the weakness in his game. One thing Tony does do is block pretty well. It's the other areas back there sometimes that he has some difficulties. Looking to tie it up right here at three. Tony sprayed him in, but there's Steve Mose racing him to that near side, making the block up into the air and off the table. Big defensive play right there from Mose. Well, Tony's talent can make up for 
having a game where he made two, three or four quick shots in the middle of the game where most of us are with a, a player like Steve, he needs to take advantage of every possession. Not, not necessarily take advantage of it to score each time, Jim, but he's got to be using that time to keep keep it, <laughs> again, wow. keep the ball away from Tony's scoring. Look at mark. that. We've seen it before, but it still is such an eye-opening play where he quickly passes it through, goes into that hammer and long pull kick. What an exceptional play from Sprademan. Tony, I think what a save by Sprademan. How did he grab that one? He got, flipped the man over and kind of drew it back off that inside wall. But Trevor Park able to take it away. Nice performance from Trevor here this weekend. As he's getting a, a top three finish in a very tough field. Still to be determined what that top three finish will be, of course. But he's got his work cut out for him going up against one of the greats in Tony Spredeman. Tony, quick pass, quick shot, quick score. It's 2-1. Just when you think Tony Spredeman can't execute that play any faster, you see that. Here we go, the second set of the open singles final. Picked up here by Moore. Ryan tic tac -y. Fires that one down the middle. It squirts through to his five. Moore now steps into the forward position and looks to advance it. Ryan, pass attempt, knocked down, taken away by Spray him. Tony steps into the forward position, passes it, drills the pole kick. Here's one game apiece. Wow. If there's, a, if there's been a better moment for that to happen, I need to, I need to see it. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've seen that shot a lot of times. But the pressure, 1-0 down, 4-4. That was four, the best four, ever. After blocking Ryan on the 5 wow. three times. I got a little twinge after that one, did you? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm going to edit this out on, on the DVDs, on you? A lot of twinges all around the room. <laughs> yeah. There you see Tony Sprademan, a rising star, a future star, one of the great young players in the world. This man won, this young man, technically, I suppose you could still call him a boy but not to his face. Won five titles at last year's World Championship. He won both rookie events, both semi-pro events. He won 17 and under. Frederick Colignano, I don't think, knew what he was in for in this match. I'm not sure these two have ever squared off against each other before, but Frederick Colignano fully aware of this young man's ability now. Brademan along the outside wall nicely. Hauls it in on his five. Looking to go from his five to his three. Does so beautifully and it hammers the pull kick home. What a play by Sprademan. It's 2-1. Holy mo! I've never seen him do anything like that in my life. That was just unbelievable. The crowd is still buzzing about that last play. Federico was not impressed and he just went right to it and got the point back. You were impressed though, that's for sure. As Holy was I. Smokes. That was sweet. I hope you enjoyed Tony Spredeman's top five quick strike pull kicks compiled by Clay Toomey, who knows that Inside Foo's complete collection better than anyone, including me. And we can look forward to more compilations put together from Mr. Toomey from the collection in the next few weeks. And if you're interested in owning that complete collection, head over to InsideFoos.com. You can get it on hard drive and uh, you can enjoy 27 years of foosball, 2,000 plus matches, all in one comprehensive collection. Also, a reminder, this Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, we'll be live at Inside Foods TV with a Hall of Fame Classic video showcase, seven classic matches, interviews with Hall of Famers, and more. And that is at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, GMT-5, for those of you watching internationally, at Inside Foods TV. I'd also like to recognize our partners. Protectoflex Foodball Safety System. The Law Offices of Dale Carson in Jacksonville, Florida. Foosball Premier Leagues. Now hiring heroes.
the special ops of recruiting and staffing. RAF DAS Systems. The IFP Pro Tour. Visit ifptour.com. And Foosball Clubs USA. Pay it forward. Rodlock, the best practice tool. And Foosballers, the movie now available at iTunes, Vimeo, Google Play, and Vudu. For Inside Foos TV, I'm Jim Stevens, and we'll see you foosin'.